This whole project that is called the Architectural Models Network, uh, which is funded by the um, Arts and Humanities Research Council, uh, which has given us funding to think about um, the role of architectural models in the creative process. And we are looking at it both historically and in the contemporary uh, practice, and we intend to form a hub for the discussion of these issues that is cross-disciplinary and has people um, connected to the practice of architecture and modern making, historians, conservators and also curators to bring all the concerns around architecture and modern together. Soane was unusually for his period very, very interested in architectural models. There are over 120 historic architectural models in this collection. They're all over the museum, although the greatest density of them is in his model room. Um, so you're going to see those models um, as we walk around. I'm Patrick McKeo. I'm director of Parker's Model Makers. Um, we are in Hoxton. This is our headquarters for model making. We have about 32 staff here, um, but today we will be welcoming the Architectural Model Network. I thought today the most important thing was to give them access to people who work on commercial projects on a day-by-day -day basis. We will have people approaching us to build models of whole cities. There'll be uh, museum pieces, there'll be study, like sketch and study models. And we hope that the projects we work on are going to have a positive impact. So. For me, thinking three-dimensionally, working three-dimensionally helps to push ideas much further. When I'm thinking of a project, you know, and the, mo the model making side of it. Often we will discuss which wood we're going to use, why we're going to use that timber. I've always been very interested in materials and the sort of materiality. So it's, it's this process of making that I think is quite important. I'm Charles Hind, I'm the curator of the uh, RIBA drawings collection. The Royal Institute of British Architects is the principal collector of architectural materials in this country. We have 350 or so models, uh, which is probably the largest single collection in the country. This is a typical way that we have to store models that don't have, are not cased, so we have to soft wrap them. There may be lots of loose parts. You have to make sure, obviously, they don't uh, come away from the main part of the model. Uh, I'm Mark Morris, head of teaching at the Architectural Association. We're in the middle of Bedford Square, in front of the school's buildings. And I'm Angel Ara, head of digital prototyping. Most of the models students make are sketch models or um, mm. diagrammatic models, models that aren't very polished or complete an idea, but models that help you get to an idea. It's really important to get your hands dirty at a very early stage and start doing quick mock-ups or sketch models, and loads of problems will arise from even the very early stages that will help you solve it by hand.